tonight on Badass TV, we join the three-day party at the Black College's spring break. And we leave the party in a hurry with Rudy Ray Moore. Bill Cosby gets nostalgic. And Ultimate Chaos get romantic. <laughs> break is an annual tradition for all American students, but Black College Reunion Weekend is the only one specifically for African Americans. Every April, over 100,000 students pour into Daytona Beach on Florida's Gold Coast for 72 hours of partying. Badass went to investigate with the help of Ricardo Cullins and his crew from Atlanta, Georgia. On the beach, spring break, and that yeah, avenue, yeah, yeah, beach yeah, vacation, yeah, yeah. where you just come out just have fun, trying yeah, not to run, run, go to jail. That's really what it's all about. Yeah, 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 yeah. The guys, of course, all had girls on their minds, but some were prepared to go to extraordinary lengths to make an impression. Ricardo and his posse, meanwhile, take to the beach to pursue the finer things in life. Trouble in previous years has led to a heavy police presence. This time, however, there were only a few minor incidents and plenty of goodwill on either side. Well, so far this year has been very calm to date. Uh, they're having a good time. Very few incidences and people are enjoying themselves. I think this year they've been ex absolutely exceptionally well behaved, except for this nonsense. <laughs> except for this stuff going on here. But generally, I would say they're, they're doing very well. Very respectful of what's going on. And well, we, uh, we, we, uh, <laughs> well, we appreciate that. And while the police were appreciating the peace, Ricardo and friends were busy appreciating other things. So many boys. <laughs> we're not thugs, okay? We're just college kids having a good time. <laughs> This next story is about the king of motion pictures, maybe one of the greatest actors to walk the earth in our lifetime, but you don't even know who he is. I'm going to say his name, Rudy Ray Moore. Ever heard of him? No. That's because you don't know nothing. That's why I'm here, trying to teach you something. He did crazy movies. Let me tell you something. What other actor do you know that can do karate, break dance, and rap at the same time? Nobody. Can Jack Nicholson do that? Hell no. All right? He had great movies, and to me, he's the epitome of black action star. Should have won mad Academy Awards, but it never happened because he always was fighting the man, and you know the man wants to keep us down. That's why I'm here to tell you something. So sit back and learn about the man, Dolomite, Rudy Ray Moore. Dolomite, you so crazy. I think I want to have your baby. <laughs> If Rudy Ray Moore didn't exist, Badass TV would probably have to invent him. 
Faridi is the original badass comedian. In the 60s, he made some of the dirtiest LPs ever recorded. In the 70s, he broke into movies as his macho alter ego, Dolomite. In the 90s, he continues to shock with his wild stand-up act. Well, I am Dr. Rudy Ray Moore, and I have a PhD behind my name. Pretty hard get. Some people want to use the word X-rated. Well, my uh, comedy is designed for adults. Motherfucker, you fuck like a rabbit. I call my humor ghetto expression. Nigga, where is your balls at? Because the way I perform it, it is not just in the MS this and the MS this and kiss my ass and so forth and so on. I make it flow in a beautiful form. Young lady went out with her boyfriend the other night, and he got in the bed with her and pulled out somebody like my little thing. She looked at it and said, why, you know screwing temple that I'll give you $50 that you can hurt me. He screwed her three times and hit her in the head with a rock. Rudy first tasted success with his now classic comedy album, Eat Out More Often. I took it down to the record distributors. One of the fellas looked at me and said, Oh, Rudy, so you have gone mad. <laughs> what do you expect to do with this piece of shit? I said, sir. You fool me, boy. The record busted open within the next couple of days. With the money from album sales, Rudy made his first movie, Dolomite, a black exploitation classic. He's telling the truth. He's not here. Well, where is he? Breathing down your neck. People used to say, if Dolomite is as bad in the movie as he is on the record, he must be a monster. We going to check out Dolomite. When not packing his pistol, Dolomite practices his own special brand of high-speed karate. I was able to create my fight scenes a little bit different and unusual and shake my head. If I tried it out in person, I'd probably get the shit beat out of it. These days, it's not film goers, but rappers who are getting their kicks from Rudy Ray Moore. Everyone from Big Daddy Kane to the Beastie Boys drew inspiration from Dolomite. He was the wildest kid out in terms of his movies and his comedy records. The lamb stepped on the signified monkey's feet. Pretty much, we became completely Dolomite influenced and inspired. I am the godfather of rap. The monkey said, motherfucker, can't you see? You're standing on my goddamn feet. Snoop Doggy Dog even included Rudy in his black exploitation tribute, Doggy Dog World. I tell all of these young men, I said, y'all rapping good. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes down to rapping, I was through with it before y'all learned what to do. <laughs> Dolomite is my name, and rapping and tapping is my game. I'm the one that killed Monday and whooped Tuesday and put Wednesday in the hospital. I'd like to stop right now and apologize for something that happened earlier in the show. My co-host had a little sexist fantasy and put Chippendales dancing on her arm here, jumping around butt naked. I and I want to let you know that that's all women think about is sex. No, 24 no, hours I'm a sorry. day. I can't even believe I'm having to listen to this every week. How many weeks have I been sitting here? There's chicks on here every week jiggling this, that, and the other every which way but loose. And I never give you any grief at all. The Chippendales are not really my cup of tea, but for some women, they hit the spot. It's really not your place to tell us what we can or cannot watch. We ain't got a segment or something we can cut to. Hi, Hi. we're on to Mikhail. We're bird watching. Ultimate Chaos are currently the hottest teeny bop sensation, breaking the hearts of girls everywhere. So when Badass TV met up with the boys, we wanted to know their top tips for impressing the girls. When you're out taking girls, be aggressive, be fun, and be legal. Copy me now. <laughs> Carry on. Um, black hair. Mama, I always say that born in love can get. Don't be no bullshit. 
But despite their macho posturing deep down, we know the band are just a bunch of softy romantics. I reckon I'm romantic. This is my proper bean, my proper girl, and I like her. You know I'm going to be romantic to her. I really like her. I got the girl. A minute ago, you said you like that girl there. That okay. one there. Yes, no. Nah. jump from? No. Nah. Final top tip. Be yourself, Bean. If you're ugly, just be ugly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, top tip. Forget Beavis and Butthead, the hottest show in America at the moment is Fat Albert, the 70s cartoon show hosted by a young Bill Cosby. You'll have the fun now with me. This is Bill Cosby coming at you with music and fun. And if you're not careful, you may learn something before it's done. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. You guys can stay, but out of the way. The show's characters were based on friends from Cosby's childhood, making it one of the first realistic portrayals of black America. Yeah, yeah, hey, doesn't that sound good? Stop it. Yeah, fall in. <laughs> In classic children's TV style, each episode came with its own moral message. Just because somebody sounds or talks different, doesn't mean they're not a nice person. Twenty years on, Fat Albert is firmly back in fashion. These t-shirts are the fattest tops in New York, while Fat Albert the movie is currently in development. Rapper Biz Marquis is the hottest contender for the starring role. To me, Fat Albert is popular because it's more realistic to the ghetto sense. And they showed how poor a real person was. You know what I'm saying? Because when we was kids, we didn't have leather sneakers. We didn't have, we didn't have VCRs in our house. We didn't have stuff like that. Now it's different. That's nice. I'll see you. <laughs> Don't play yourself and touch that guy. This is the only thing on TV. Badass. <laughs> Okay, it's about that time again. We're going to dip back into the Badass TV mailbag, and I've got a choice one here from uh, Jeffrey in Hull. He likes it, like. It says, Dear Badass TV, I like most of your show, blah, 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 but why does Ice-T have to dress up in those funny pimp clothes? He looks naff. What's naff mean? <laughs> naff means you look crap. It means you look sad. I look crap, huh? Yeah. Jeff, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you one thing, man. You wouldn't know fine designer clothes if they were right in front of your face. Versace is eating his heart out for this kind of clothes here, baby. You know, I mean, where you, where you shop at, you know? The sock shop or something? Your girl hates the way you dress. <laughs> you don't even know about it, you know? Ladies love this, man. The lint off this suit costs more than your entire wardrobe. Hate to say it, Jeff. You're a loser. Welcome to Sheldon, South Carolina, deep in the heart of America's conservative Bible Belt. Not an actual place to recreate a tribal African village, and yet just 20 miles down the road, that's exactly what the inhabitants of the Oyapundi village have done. Founded 25 years ago, the village is a recognized independent state. The community lives by their own rules and religion based on the life of the Urobi people of southwestern Nigeria. Traditional American society does not accommodate our social needs, nor our educational needs, nor our financial needs, and certainly not our uh, spiritual needs. At Oyatundi, spiritual needs are fulfilled with a host of traditional rituals and celebrations. If you spend all of your time surviving, you, you have no time to live. And here, this is the option, to learn to live. The message is coming through loud and clear that Africa is our origin, our base, and perhaps our salvation. We have people from all different walks of life. We have the PhDs. We have the people that have lived in America and been in, and I quote, what you call successful. Even lawyers, doctors, religious men, reverends, preachers have all come through that gate. 
Newcomers and those born in the village are initiated at the Eshu or Gon or Sushi festival, but first they have to pass a series of tests. The thing that you have here is basically a rite of passage. They must know how to hunt, they must know how to fish, they must know how to swim, they must know first aid, they must know basic uh, auto mechanics. Um, they must also be able to fast for 48 hours. Basic survival techniques is actually what they are. It's sort of like a fraternity in a college. And um, um, we're together for life until death be a part of it. Boys become men with the symbolic cutting of the apron strings. Celebrations end with a night of ritual dancing and the scarring of the newly initiated man with a razor blade. It helps you, you know, be a man and be strong because you have to go through some of these hard times. Like today, you know, I was afraid of getting a mark, but then when I got him, I see that, you know, it wasn't, um, it wasn't that hard. It was, it was kind of fun because I expected it to be a, mo a lot more painful. I feel like I belong to something higher. I'm more, of, I'm more than, I'm not just an in, indiv individual anymore. I'm like a link in the chain. Under America's freedom of religion statute, the villager are allowed to practice polygamy. The king, for instance, has four wives. There is a certain uh, pleasure, of course, in uh, the uh, sexual relationship. And there's a pleasure, of course, in uh, the culinary area. Uh, each of these ladies cook differently. Uh, and so uh, they're on a rotation system. Uh, I stay with each wife for a certain number of days. Uh, and she uh, takes care of all of my needs during that period. If you're a person that has to be with someone, or very clingy, or very needy, then this is not for you. So I just look at it as a boyfriend coming over, you know, during that time. Most people fool themselves thinking that they're not sharing a man or sharing someone. And uh, at least 60% of that, at least in the United States, uh, people are sharing, whether they know it or not. The number of villagers is steadily increasing, and the elders are keen to pass on their traditions to the young. Most of us my age, or close to my age, we're not preparing things for our own life. We're trying to make an investment now. We're trying to corral our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, and make sure that they know enough to keep this going. We're here with Alvin, who you saw earlier with the rest of his fabulous guy, rating Buddy from Satisfaction. Hello, darling. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I just about recovered. Thank you very much. Ice here, I think, wants to have a little chat. Hey, man, how you doing? I'm okay. Love the show. Thank you. Uh, now, the name of the group is Satisfaction. That's and right. And I heard that every woman that comes to your show leaves it with wet panties. That's right. We've done a line of shows in England, and they all left wet. Now, I'm not the kind of brother that would try to put a guy on the spot knowing that his girl or someone who thinks they're his girl is watching the show. But isn't it true that every show you have orgies after the show and have girls running out of the hotel screaming, hollering, you're licking them up and down? Go on, tell no, us. No, no, no. It's oh my like God. But wait, wait, when we reach Scotland, wait, wait till we reach Scotland. We'll have a surprise wait, wait, for wait, them. Wait, wait. Alden has more dancing to do for me, don't you, darling? Definitely. You're going to go and just dance us out for the rest of the mm -hmm. show? I think we're out of here at this point in time while I just keep these two guys apart. And me, that's I see, and we'll see you next week. Peace.